What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert, if this is your first time tuning in. We got my dad here, say hello. Hey, how you doing? We are gonna be taking you on our one mile trail and showing you how we manage it and the type of weed spray we use, the equipment we use. Um, hopefully this will help you guys to uh, help you guys manage your property, um, you know, showing you how we do it. So stay tuned, I'll turn the camera around right now. So what we have here is a North Star um, sprayer. It has a little pump here. It has the regulator up on top gauges and it just att attaches to a uh, a little riding lawnmower and this thing's actually pretty strong i can actually stand on that and i'll ride in the back standing on that and it's fine so what i like about this one is it has little booms so it sprays the entire width of the trail um i'll show you guys the boom real quick just extend it out so you put the little pin in there and then that's what it's going to look like when it's extended um but yeah, so the booms are pretty cool. For fence lines, it also does have a hand sprayer or a wand. And that little um, uh, hose is probably about 15, 20 feet. So if you need to just get off and just start spraying, you have plenty of room to do that. This thing does hold 31 gallons, I believe. Uh, we bought this right around COVID time. So I think we paid like $2.99 for it. Um, but um now if you try to buy it again it's closer to 400 dollars. so it's almost it's gone up about a hundred and something dollars um i will leave it down below in the description links for amazon i know amazon does have some um deals on it from time to time <laughs> and you can usually capture this for about 349 um 339 um every now and then you're just gonna ha have to watch the prices but it works great it does what we need it to do um all you do is you put these little clamps right here on the battery which i'm going to show you guys how to operate all this here in a little bit i'm just showing you around right now um you just put these on the battery it has a little toggle switch there and uh, you just press start and you either uh, shut off the valves if you want it to use the wand or you uh, uh shut the valve the other way if you want to use the boom so it's pretty cool pretty uh pretty useful honestly like if we didn't have this we'd be using a backpack sprayer which would take us freaking forever so this way it works a lot faster a lot better um, you get better coverage as well um, so we'll show you guys right now what we're going to be doing there he goes taking it away we do fill all our tires with slime as well because we have a lot of thorns out here in south texas so all our tires that we use on any equipment is always filled with slime so right now he's just filling it up um, as you can tell we use this thing a lot it's kind of dirty in there that blue stuff is the uh, the old um uh, weed spray so this thing is just used for weeds uh, we have another machine that we use for um, insects and stuff like that we spray all our properties with uh, weed killer and insect killer um, for those of y'all who keep out with the channel, my own local property that we all take care of them with using this thing or another um, another little machine for the insects. Okay, so we emptied out basically this whole, uh, what is it, 64 fluid ounces for 31 gallons. We didn't really measure it. Um, if we're doing smaller quantities and depending on the brush we're going to be spraying, um, we go with uh, 8 fluid ounces per gallon. Um, but right now we're just going to be spraying gr grass and like little light weeds. So we aren't um, going so heavy with the, with the medicine or the spray. So it's a little bit less than 8 fluid ounces per gallon um, because of what we're spraying. But typically we're spraying a little bit more brush or thicker stuff. We're using 8 fluid ounces per gallon of water. If we're using diesel, um, we're using about 4 fluid ounces per gallon. So as he's driving it, it's basically mixing up. Um, so you just want to make sure you're putting it in there when you're putting the water in there. Um, so that way when you take it to the location, as you can tell, it's moving around, bouncing. It's mixing up pretty well by the time we start the, the pump. We're letting out the booms. My dad's probably going to work on... What are you going to... Okay. I'm mm -hmm. getting the boom right now. Which is cute because it's a little baby boom. But it's so cute. I love this little thing. Extending out the boom again. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Let me see if I can 
hold the camera with my legs. Yep. That, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure your valves are open on both of them. Um, well, pretty much it. Make sure this thing is open. You close this thing off to force the water down into the um, the wand, the hand sprayer, and you open it up to push the the application to the uh, to the boom. So we got it on full. Probably go half. And you have the controller. Yeah. All right. All right. So I think we're good to go. We got everything hooked up to the battery under there. Got the booms out. Everything's ready to go. Fire it up. You want to start it? Hold on, hold on. out a lot more than we need so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit yeah there we go got some on the skin but yeah there we go guys now it's doing pretty well so here he comes with the boom So this thing probably sprays about six feet more or less and it does really really good coverage dogs it got onto a uh, hog scent the brown one did that's why she's taking off she's actually really good at picking up the hogs she'll go and get right onto where they're bedding at so we're currently about 0 0.6 0 0.7 of a mile in we still have quite a bit the ways to go um, we actually had to refill this little tank back up uh, because we already had used it so same same uh, concentration just had to refill it i tell you guys i'm still a kid still running around having my dad pull me <laughs> still a kid i guess it's true guys don't ever grow up I'm one of them. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for us today. Um, it was a good day. Finished up the trail, the one mile trail. About a six foot spread of the weeds. We did all around the property, all the fence line. We also did the road um, around the pond as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, so one thing that's really left is a little section of road that we didn't finish um, But we'll do that another day. We're gonna probably bring some diesel because it's a little bit uh, a little short little stubby brush stuff that's growing up So we're just gonna spray it down with some diesel and a little bit stronger stuff um, But yeah, appreciate you guys watching guys appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and um, Don't forget we're gonna be doing a really cool stocking video September 30th I'll be filming the video on the, on the 30th try to get it uploaded that evening or that night and maybe even have it premiere overnight and then in the morning or the next day it should go live um, assuming I can get everything edited correctly so no more than a day um, 24 hours turnaround from filming it so definitely stay tuned y'all are gonna be really really cool uh, y'all are gonna be really really um, excited to see what we're stocking in that video so don't forget to subscribe like share and uh, yeah guys till next time be careful be good take care and God bless we'll see you guys later bye, -bye.